we have a few regression cautions here because sometimes once a process has been established, it's easy for it to be misused. So regression caution number one is the extrapolation caution that we mentioned at the beginning of this section. Trying to apply a regression equation out far outside the values that were used to find the equation. Um, so, for example, when we were asked whether it would be appropriate to use the model for size of diamond and price per carat to estimate the price per carat of a five carat diamond, we said no because we don't really know if this linear pattern continues outside of our known data. Another caution is using a regression line for something that really doesn't appear to be a linear relationship. It's possible to calculate a regression line for anything, but if they don't appear linear, so they must appear to follow a linear pattern for it really to be a valid model. So we always want to look at a scatter plot of the data and think about it before going into a regression equation. The other is outliers. If we have extreme outliers that have a lot of effect on the correlation or the slope, then we want to be cautious about any conclusions that we make from that model as well. We talk about these as being influential points sometimes. If taking them out has a big effect on the correlation or the slope of the line, then we would consider these points to be influential, and we would want to be very cautious about any conclusions that we make based on that model. So just to look at a couple of brief examples here, we have Hollywood movies, profitability, which is gross income as a percent of budget. So this is taking the gross income and dividing it by the budget to create a ratio. Looking at that with respect to budget, you can see that it is possible to get a regression line here, but that if one were to come through and draw the pattern, it looks like it follows a very different kind of trend, and that's because there are some movies with very small budgets, and having a very small budget can give you a very high profitability when you're taking that gross income and dividing by a really small budget. Because of this nonlinear trend here, we are not so sure we want to trust the regression line, even though we can find it. Looking at this diamonds, this is a little bit different from the one that we already looked at. Instead of price per carat, now we're looking at total price. So a diamond that is bigger already costs more per carat then when you multiply that price per carat by the size, you get something that's no longer linear. Now it has more of what we might call a quadratic or a parabolic trend, right? This is parabolic if you know your algebra. Or we can see that just the fact that it arcs upwards means it's nonlinear. This one isn't too bad. This would still be okay to use a linear model on because the arc upwards is somewhat subtle. But um, we would see that because we have more points down here, maybe the, the line would have to sort of compromise, right, and be more heavily weighted towards the denser mass of points at the bottom, and it wouldn't be a very good model for these points up here. So this one doesn't appear all that linear, and we can see that there might be a better model than the linear model. So two examples of not quite linear scatter plots. This first one, the profitability by budget, also illustrates outliers, right? We could also consider these points up here to be outliers, and these outliers might have a large effect on any conclusions that we make from this model, even though they aren't representative of a typical Hollywood movie.